So sing one. Hello. So I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite brands, which happens to be Bite Beauty. Now, for those of you who may not have heard about this brand, um, it's at Sephora. They are Canada-based, I believe. Yes, they're a Canadian brand. But the cool thing about this brand is that they make um, all-natural beauty products. I was first introduced to them about a year ago, and honestly, I've been hooked ever since. Like, hooked. Like, every time I go to Sephora, if I pick up something, I always have to get, like, a uh, Bite Beauty item where I have to swatch it or I have to at least look in that direction because their products are bomb. And I'll start with the most recent, what I have on my lips right now, which is their Amuse Boost, um, there go. Amuse Boost uh, lipstick. And this one is in the color Whiskey, if you guys can see. And I'll also do a hand swatch if you like. So this is the color Whiskey. And I just received this in my latest um, Bite Beauty box. This, it came packaged like this, and I love that I can tell what was already in the box before I opened it. Um, and this box in particular is featuring their new um, lip pencils. And I will swatch that as well. Horrible swatching. <laughs> Brittany, what is that? What is that? Let's try this again. I'll swatch it over here. There we go. So, um, this is the pencil, pencil number 44. And as you can see, they pair really well together. Let me get a little close up. Y'all see that highlight though? We're not gonna focus on right now, but see that highlight? Yes. One thing that I should mention about Bite Beauty products is that although they're a little bit, they're not high end, but most of their products range from about, I wanna say $19 to like $27, I think. So they're a little bit on the upper end for somebody who's not looking to expend that much money. But you guys, they last for such a long time. They are very pigmented, moisturizing. Even the, um, the matte shade I have, or the matte shades I have, which I'll show you next, are uh, very, very moisturizing. And I can't find my Agave lip mask right now, so I'll show you the next next thing. The Agave lip balm. Yeah, I believe they launched it either at the end of the year or the beginning. I think it was the end of last year. And um, it just looks like literally like a balm, like anything else. It is very, very soothing. I put this on my lips when I feel like my lips need a little bit more um, affection, a little bit more TLC. Now it's not as good, in my opinion, as the lip mask because the lip mask stays on for like hours and hours and hours and hours. But I love putting this on, especially like immediately after I take off uh, lipstick or something drying. Leo, Leo, stop, that's it. Good boy, come here. Hi, how are you? Okay, he thinks I have something for him. I don't have anything for him. The only thing I'll say that I don't like is that the balm part is not as stable as it could be. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's kind of like leaning to the side. And I'm afraid that if I put it on too harsh or something like that, that it will actually break off. Um, that would be my only con of this product. But other than that, it's amazing. The next thing I'm gonna show you is the, uh, their matte cream, and this one I recently purchased maybe about uh, a couple of weeks ago or so. And this is in um, the color Rose Hip. Oh shucks, I see you camera trying to focus on what your bad self, I see you. And it's, it's a matte lipstick, basically. And I'm not gonna swatch it like that because I've been doing horrible, so I'm just gonna do it on the back of my hand and then show you guys. And look at that, you guys. The color payoff is amazing. It is very, very pigmented. And I'm gonna post a picture right here of me wearing it. Um, I don't think I paired it with a Bite Beauty lippy, um, lip liner, but I think I used like a heat of beauty. But anyway, it pairs well with other reds. It's kind of like, this one um, I was looking for because I wanted something that was a little brighter for Valentine's Day that had, I believe the undertones are blue. I could be lying. I'm still learning this whole makeup thing. It's long lasting, like honestly, when I wear it for a long time, like it lasts through eating, it lasts through like just rubbing my lips together, forgetting I have lipstick on, it lasts the entire day. And then at night, I have to do like a little bit extra to get it off. So I absolutely, I absolutely love their matte lipstick. This is my favorite, favorite product by, um, or my favorite type of product from Bite Beauty um, because I love that I can get the matte look without having to feel like my lips are literally like coming on. Bite Beauty actually sent me, um, their PR person reached out to me. I can't believe I lost their contact information to tell her how much, how much I enjoyed it. But Bite Beauty sent me a box and it contained six of their multi-sticks and this is one of them. And this is in the color Cerise or Cherise or Cerise. I'll swatch it for you all. It's kind of like a brick red 
And the thing um, that I love most about the Mophie stick is that it can not only be used on your lips, but you can use it for blush, you can use it for um, on your eyes if you like. Like this is a, it's, they call it the Mophie stick because you can use it in multiple ways. Um, I've tried a few of them on my cheeks as blush. I just take like a, a, a cream brush for blush. I think that's how I say that. And I dab it on there and just, just how I would apply any other blush, that's how I do it. So I just wanted to briefly share some of my favorite products with you from Bite Beauty because again, they're falling all over the floor. <laughs> because again, they are one of my absolute favorite beauty brands right now, um, especially for uh, the lip department. So I will talk to you guys later. Um, again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up or known as a like, it looks like this. And then um, also be sure to subscribe and sign up. Hit the little bell for notifications. It's, it's, it's down there, it should be right over here. Um, but hit that little bell for notifications so that you can stay up to date with uh, all of the happenings on my channel. You know, cause you know when B Monet uploads a video, <laughs> you know it's gonna be cool. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. But I'll talk to you guys later. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope I will have something up a lot sooner than later. All right, peace.